Adele in the blue corner. Paulina in the red and Adele starting straight away looking for this takedown. Straight in on that single leg, Dean. Should be careful with the switch here, the cradle counter from Paulina. She could start to try and get to her feet potentially and uh, switch this to a double leg. So she's going to go towards her left side, free up her left arm. It's her back taken here. Great work from Paulina. Yeah, that is extremely well to reverse this position. Paulina just coming uh, above standards in, in the exchanges here, in, in the transitions, in the dead space, in the scrambles. Yeah, she looks the bigger and the stronger of the two, but Adele Makhmatova representing Kazakhstan. It's not an easy spot to earn. Now she's got a better bite on the single leg here. She's got both hands clasped in the gable grip. She might look to run the pipe and switch to a double off the cage here. Head inside at this point in time. She's run the pipe, she's got to pop her head out to her left side, bow down to the ground. At the moment she's got a good grip though. You know, she's nice and close, she's got high on the leg. Paulina using the wizard to separate, nice knee. Nice and one back as well. Working the midsection, each of these ladies. This is an unwritten skill in mixed martial arts, cage work, the clinch, you know, it's, it really does sack the cardio, and it's, it's a game of, um, of exposure, I want to expose an angle, I want to expose an underhook, and it's very, it's very, it takes time as well, a person who's just technically the same as you. And again, we see in the transition as Paulina come to through, ended up on top, side control, goes to the hips forward. Looking extremely strong as the Polish fighter, Paulina Kontnak. Difficult day opening around here for Adele Makhmatova. Now the arms trapped. Yeah, there we go. That's beat down position. Strikes. Ola Matthews and uh, BJ Penn. Great work by Adele. Back in using the Upa to circle out. She's got three arms in this position. Yeah, very awkward there. With the step over, oh, and back into that position to save the arm. A bicycle for Lina, the Poland. Oh, shoulder shot, shoulder shot coming in from the Polish fighter. I like that, and that just shows confidence that you can maintain this position. Look at that as well, that was... The first round down. And I have no doubt the Polish fighter will have all the cardio she needs to see out the final two rounds because they've been doing early morning exercises outside my room, as I told you yesterday, Dean. The full Polish squad. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> That's dedication, isn't it? That early yeah. in the morning to be out in the hotel. It doesn't matter the scenery. Exactly. It be a gym. Getting that work done. Just got to get it done, yeah. They had a nice bit of aggression in, in the beginning, though, but ultimately again finds herself off her back. She's got to wait for the advancement here. She can't get an escape. She has to wait for Paulina to go for something and then use that opportunity to get an underhook and escape. The whole time she's moving on her back, it's, it's kind of like wasted energy if it doesn't serve to help you. Paulina looking so, so strong on top. Total control, really, in this position. Again, we talk about it in terms of whether they win or lose, the experience of, of feeling other competitors from different nations at this level. Yes, yeah, Super Six again. She can serve yeah. to pull the arm through a little bit more and try and the feet over. Oh, Americana, the, maybe. The elbow, oh yeah, this is a viable option. She's keep her opponent flat, however. Still got that left arm trap between those legs. Now the Americana is available. She can further start to put her, her right elbow in the neck her opponent to serve to stop her turning into her and uh, further secure that a uh, American arm and uh, right arm. And, uh, referee's looking on it. There's, oh, there's the, the American. 
She needs to get that right arm, though, over the other side, to the right side of Adele, and put it in the net. Oh, oh big shot. Big shot. Really if you spot play for Kalina to secure the, uh, that position and, and land some ground and pound, he was looking on, he could potentially have stopped it. Yeah, Adele, they're doing extremely well reacting to those big shots coming in, finding a space, getting that back to her feet now. Kalina, though, look at the grip she's got. Just breaking that base down bit by bit. And consistent contact with her opponent. Always attached, always moving forward. Superior control as well. You know, she's come up quite high towards the, the body of Adele to limit Adele's ability to buck when you're underneath your opponent's hip. When they buck, you move as well. Great space for your opponent. She's doing a good job of um, lacing that arm. And she's followed her arm on the inside. It says to me that she just wants to ride out the ground and pound. If the submission's there, she'll take it. But she wants to stay on top, which is a smart play. Right, ten seconds of round number two. A dominant round here for the Polish fighter. Trying to secure it, potentially go for the straight arm bar there. Consistently able to control her opponent to find that beat down position. If you get taken down, you're going to be on the bottom. something happen. Here's the clinch again. Adele needs to disengage from this position, take this opportunity to separate herself from her opponent. And look at the way even in the mix there, as they're spinning and turning, Paulina is using that momentum to get them to the cage, to get them to that wall. <laughs> Adele potentially could have the underhooks here, double underhooks, but she's not opting to clasp her hands again. There we go. Now she's got that grip, she gets optimal control, she can potentially secure the back. But I'd like to see her use the threat and take down, use the opportunity to circle out and then push on the face of her opponent and set her up. Two minutes left in this third round. Again, forward pressure, the clinch, the grappling of Pauli. Oh. The referee wants more, separates them. The girl was looking good on the feet as well. Like you said, oh, now she's looking for the take. And this is exactly the same as round one. She holds onto that leg, and gives up the, the bottom position. She, she kind of gets the wrong side single leg. She holds onto the opposite leg. She should have taken the other leg closest to her. And again, looking for the beat down position, the crucifix. Paulina. We might see Paulina stay in this position now. Crucifix, lots of damage, keep the ref happy. And if the Americana's there, she'll take it. She's got just over a minute to work. They're looking to buck and make some sort of space. Maintaining that dominant position again, same as round two. Oh, there you go. Look at that pressure, just at the weight distribution, the understanding of how to control Adele on bottom from Paulina. Very, very impressive. So frustrating from the young girl from Kazakhstan. Still, still trying to make something happen though. Got to think about the opposites, try to fit free the arm. Lots of bugs, get the elbows in. There we go. That's what she needs is to pull the elbows in close to her body. She could just step her leg over and try and retract the half guard here as well. She'll step over her left leg, over the right leg of Paulina. She could drag it back into the half guard. Final 10 seconds. And what has been a very impressive showing from Poland's Paulina Kontanat. Sees out the end of the round. Paulina, a little nod to her corner there as.